on the win. Um, with Pat being eject, ejected, minutes restriction, uh, Reggie got hit in the eye. How big was uh, Rajon for you guys tonight? Oh, he was great, you know, um, doing everything we thought he was going to do when he got here, just controlling the game, controlling the tempo, uh, making some great passes, you know, for guys to have open shots, layups. And, um, you know, defensively, he was great as well, just talking and communicating, you know, I think getting into Booker, getting into CP, just trying to make it tough for those guys. And we know those guys are, you know, um, tough to defend, but just giving the effort. But I just love the way he controlled the game tonight. Thanks. Next up, Law. Uh, going a little bit off of that, uh, this is quite uh, this is quite a contentious game with the ejections, the flagrants, and you guys came uh, up over the and and succeeded and won the game. So, what does that say about your team? Uh, and what concerns, if any, do you have with uh, all the extracurricular activities out there tonight? I don't have any concerns. I love it. You know, you competing at a high level against one of the best teams in the league. Um, do what you got to do to win. And I thought our guys were physical. I thought we competed. I thought we fought. Um, you know, and just, you know, just stay the course, you know. And, um, you know, it's going to be games like this where it's going to be chippy. You know, they're fighting for something. We're fighting for something. So it's going to happen. And, you know, I'm okay with it. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Cam. Love that mindset, Coach. Um, it was a complete game, uh, team win. You had uh, PG with 33. Obviously, Kawhi stepped up big in that, in that third quarter. Um, did you give him some um, nature nature valley bars? Did you give him something good? What, what helped him uh, come out in that third quarter, kind of fire him up? Because he looked like he inspired the team as well. Yeah, well, we just had a good talk at halftime. Um, can't really say a lot of what I said, but we just had a good talk at halftime. And like I said, our guys came out and responded. And um, you know, Kawhi took it to another level in that third quarter. Um, his pace, his gear, getting downhill, attacking the basket. And um, that's what we need from him. And I thought Pat Pat came in and did a great job at the back of five. Uh, we went small. You know, so I thought it was, a, it was a total team effort. You know, PG, just the way he scored the basketball tonight, we needed it. Rondo, like I said, all of our guys, you know, just stepped in and played well. So um, it's a good win for us, and it's just something to build off of. Hey, Coach, you said um, a couple of days ago you thought it would take Rondo. you give him about three weeks before you would be – before he would be where you expect him to be. Um, can you expect a whole lot more than what he gave you tonight? Um, yeah, I think – you know, I think so. Once he's able to, you know – Bump his minutes up, you know, once he's able to learn the offense in and out, which he, he knows, you know, what, what we showed him so far. Um, but just, you know, his basketball IQ, I think of just controlling the game, knowing what plays to call, uh, knowing who hasn't had a touch in a while, and just being to deliver, deliver the basketball. And, um, you know, you saw tonight, you know, having nine assists in, in you know, 20 minutes, um, that's huge for our team. And like I said, getting PG easy shots, getting Kawhi easy shots, and that's what we need to take advantage of. Thanks. Next to Farbad. Hey, Coach. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Um, I, I remember a couple games ago, PG had talking about he needed to adjust his play a little bit because of his uh, toe injury. And it seems like since that point, he's adjusted pretty well. Um, what have you seen that's different from him that you think he may have adjusted his game while going through the injury at the same time? I just think I'm not sure. Just slowing down, you know. I think um, just taking his time. You know, we want him to get more threes up. So tonight, you know, he made an effort to get more threes up. But you know, just you know, taking his time, playing the game, um, try to stay away from playing in the crowd as much as possible because teams are going to load up on him because you know he's like so dynamic offensively. And um, I think just taking his time, slowing down. He's six eight, six nine. You know, the guys are not going to grow, and he just you know shooting over top of guys, and um, he's been playing well. So hopefully, we continue that run. Next, we'll go to Miriam. Hey, Ty, uh, congrats on your guys today. Um, what, wonder, do, you, uh, do you have any sort of update on Reggie? And, I mean, obviously, he, he's meant so much to you guys this season. Um, I saw he had like a little swollen eye. Um, I think he was able to come back in the game. Um, so I think he's going to be fine. He's going to be okay. Okay. And so nothing to worry about going forward? No, oh, ma'am. All right, cool. Thanks. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Nick Hamilton. Hey, Coach, congratulations on the win. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about Rajon Rondo. It seemed like he was really aggressive in the moment in the first quarter and really, like you said earlier, set the tempo. What are some of the intangibles that you feel like Rajon Rondo 
can bring to this team moving forward, especially uh, with all his experience and really getting the team in a rhythm. I think his pace offensively of, of pushing the basketball, of getting us easy baskets in transition. I think being able to run offense and being able to take advantage of teams, make a mistake on switches or whatever it may be, um, he's able to deliver the ball on time and on target. And um, just being a quarterback out on the floor, you know, with his basketball IQ and being able to control the game, it makes it a lot better, you know, a lot easier for us. What were you seeing in the second half, Coach, especially get playing a team that came off a, a less than 24 hours in an overtime win? What did you? How do you see this game uh, going more in your favor, especially in the second half, when you guys were able to kind of pull away and sustain a, a significant lead? Um, like I said, just coming out of halftime, just competing. I thought we brought a physicality to the game in the second half. I thought we really got into those guys and just trying to turn the tide a little bit. You know, I thought they did that to us in that second quarter, and um, we came out in the third quarter. We tried to reverse that. So um, just being able to, com to compete against these guys, you know, at a high level and taking the challenge, and we did that. Thanks, Coach. Next to Kahari. Hey, what's going on, Coach? Um, with all the, the, the intensity tonight, do you feel like uh, games like this are needed to, to build a stronger core within a group? Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, whenever you get a, a game like this, which is it was a playoff type of game, you know, like you said, hard fouls, you know, uh, ejections, um, guys competing at a high level, um, you know, you need these type of games. And just – you know, to kind of see where you're at right now, even though we got a long way to go, and we're still progressing. But, I, you know, like I said, tonight was a good win for us um, to be able to come out and play, play the way we did against this team. Thanks. We have time for one more. We'll go to Pavi. What's up, Coach? Um, I feel like uh, since Rondo has stepped on the court, you guys have been a um, different uh, unit defensively. Um, can you just explain just what his IQ and what his smarts um, brings to you guys on that side of the floor? I think the biggest thing is just his communication. Like he's always talking. Um, he knows what plays are coming. You know, he's telling guys what's coming before it comes. And then just his communication of just, you know, putting guys in the right spot, understanding what we're trying to do, and um, just kind of orchestrating, like being a quarterback on the defensive end as well. So um, you see, he's, you know, he's been guarding some of the best players. He'd be guarding Lillard the other night, guarding Booker and, you know, CP tonight, and just being able to just orchestrate and understand what we're trying to do defensively. Thank you. Thanks, Ty.